what's going on? This is Swamp Yankee Dippin' here. First dip review of all time. Well, for us anyway. We're gonna see how well this goes. Uh, we have a dip here that's a straight. Because why not? Um, of course, he, he's a grizzly junkie, so we're gonna see. I do like grizzly. <laughs> yeah, I'm more of a Stoker's kind of guy, but Stoker straight kind of fucks up your gums a little bit. So, um, we're gonna see how this goes. We got Grizzly Straight today, I believe. Bacon wrapped stuffed jalapenos. Uh -huh. I was gonna ask you what they were. His <laughs> mother, his, his father is a very good cook. Oh, hell yeah. His mother is, eh, decent. she's alright. She's decent. My father's a good cook. I don't know what it is around our area in Connecticut. Yeah. Men are the good cooks. See this? Bacon wrap. Well, that's not a jalapeno. Holy shit, what the hell are these? I don't know what kind of these are. You tell me. I don't know. Probably came from Young's. Alright. Fucking good, though. Stuffed right. peppers. I don't know what they are, but they're fucking good. Bacon stuffed peppers. Well, the bacon is wrapped around it. Yeah, but anyways. I'm here for a dip review. Now, personally, yeah, I said... Yeah, not a food review. Yeah. A dip review. <laughs> stuffed jalapenos, peppers, and kinds are really good. But, today, reviewing... Grizzly, Grizzly straight. straight. Gotta love that camo tin around uh, hunting season. Yeah. Now, what I've been dipping every day... I dip Grizz Green. Again, Camo 10. Every now and then, though, I like a mint. I Grizzly love a mint. mint. <laughs> Almost mint, their entire line, right? Mint is my everyday. I love mint. Well, I'll put but these two last the side. Night, last night, I'm taking a ride Oops. with my good friend Sky, and we're going around. I'm like, I'm out of shit. You know, I was out of dip. I was like, okay, let's go take a ride. Last so I years. walk in, and I look at the guy. I go, I'm going to buy something I've never tried before. He goes, okay, so I stand there, and I buy this. Oh, God. That shit? Kodiak Wintergreen. It's pretty good. It's not bad. Well, we're gonna Five do out of ten. We're probably gonna do a review on it, depending on how this goes, but Kodiak Wintergreen, he looks at me, he goes, I thought you were gonna say something, like, completely surprising. He was surprised I've never had it before. Um, because around here, they don't really sell too many varieties, so really... You buy the st like Grizzly, Copenhagen, Skull, Stokers, and that's pretty much it. Kayak, you don't really see too often around here, but Kodiak, th typically they only sell the Wintergreen. Most people who dip around here, it's either Copenhagen Wintergreen, Grizz Green, or uh, Skull. But not really people dip Skull anymore. It's usually Grizz had, Green or Coke Green. Not I had, really a many events. I had a guy at the shop today dipping Skull Apple. Uh, skull Apple's not bad. I had a fresh tin of Skull Apple the other day. And it was fresh, so I couldn't stop. It smelt and tastes exactly like an Apple Jolly Rancher. Yeah, it's not bad, Fuck but anyways, up. we're here tonight to review Grizz Straight. Now, for number one, if you notice, completely uncracked tin. Have not opened this one yet. I personally haven't tried this one yet either. He I has. Have. Two different reviews. Now, the best now, thing well, about this dip, you can mix it with Skull Cherry and make the Dr. Pepper dip. Dr. Pepper's my shit. So. A person, I like beer, but you know, it's all good. Well, I like beer too, <laughs> but. During the day, I drink uh, Dr. Pepper, especially yeah. in the well, morning. So, here we go. We got 10 of Grizz Street. So. Again, can. Of course, this one's only there one time a year. Uh, the regular cans. Like, uh, they only do it for the straights and the greens, but the regular can, like the Grizzly Mint I got here, presentation is pretty good. Uh, the red and the camo looks pretty freaking sweet, if you ask me. Uh, but overall, I think Grizzly makes a pretty damn good looking can. So, for the date, uh, the great date on this is H5. August 2015. August 2015, so it's a pretty, um, old dip. That's two months ago. This is a, no, today's no, date that... is what, October 25th. Today's October 25th, 2015. So, it's actually pretty fresh um, for around here. When you get Skull, the sell-by date is in three weeks. Well, you know what? Let's, uh, let's crack this. No, don't use your knife. I don't have fingernails, motherfucker. It don't matter. You don't really need a long fingernail. Who paid for it? And you started at the barcode. Oh, my God. So what? He's a beginner dipper. That's part of the reason why I'm here is because I got to coach him. <laughs> but he bought the tin so he can have the first lip. Alright. So let's throw let's uh crack it open and take a whiff of the scent there. 
You don't have to pack it just to scent, smell it. All right. Good old Hank Sr. Wow, playing in the yeah, background. I don't know if you can hear that too well. We got some good old country music playing. The only good stuff, not that new rapping cowboy nah, shit. The, the new crap sucks. Uh, no not Florida only Georgia line here. Now uh, for Grizz, unlike Copenhagen, they actually filled the tin. Look at that. Well, Copenhagen, I feel like they they <sighs> nice and dark too. See how dark that is? It's almost like it's black. Blacker I, than my soul. I feel that Copenhagen fills the tin. But the president of Copenhagen takes his pinch out. Scent, uh, it's not overwhelming. You get it obviously has that straight tobacco scent, but it's not overpowering. It actually, smells pretty good. Okay, it's been a while since I've actually had this. Probably eight nine months. Um, you're probably no. My sense of smell is kind of fucked. Because I grew up in a fiberglass shop, so my sense of smell kind of sucks, and I'm kind of getting a spicy kind of scent from this. Maybe yeah, that's from the jalapeno, whatever kind of pepper that is out there? could be, I don't know. I think it smells really freaking good. But anyways, I think it smells great. For, uh, I think it's better than Copenhagen. For cut, it's a long cut, but really, it's kind of like a fine long cut. If you look at that. It's not... I mean, that Kodiak we had earlier, much heavier. Long done. cut. Yeah, show them some of that. That was long cut. That's some long cut. That with packs real nice, but it falls apart in your mouth after a while. With Kodiak. I mean, take a look at this. That, that's a really long cut. See the difference? This is also made by American Snuff Company. Same company. Same can. But, uh, well, already packed, so pack a lip with me. Don't or don't. I'll, whichever. I'll well, hopefully if you. you. Well, hopefully you do. But hopefully if you're watching this dip review, it's not just because you're bored. Probably because you want to dip, right? And if you looked up Grizz Straight, you're probably going to be dipping Grizz Straight with us. So let's hope you are. Here we go. And if not, hopefully you're dipping something so good. So packability. You had a pretty good pinch out of here. Wow, 7 o'clock on a Sunday. Fucking 8 o'clock, dude. That's late. Usually, uh, I'm on the fire department here in town. We uh, paid to test every uh, One Sunday at 7. Right now, it's uh, almost 8 o'clock, and it just went off from a page test. It's a little late. You'll probably have to check that in a second. Healthy so, pinch right there. Healthy pinch here. Yeah. How did, how did uh, it pinch together for you? Pretty good. It's not falling apart in my hand. I like that fucking skull green. But, uh, <laughs> that's pretty good, so. Skull green. Ugh. Cheers. Alright, I'm gonna pack a lip. Now, with skull green, all I'm gonna say is that's what Spit ruined... cup. That's what ruined wintergreens for me. I don't like wintergreens. I can't do them. But, you know... Now, now it's uh, Hank Jr. Yeah. Oh. Good old Bo Cephas right there. Let's yeah, see. buddy. Let's take a good... Good song. Eh, healthy. So, it's a little dry. Not too bad. Not like fucking Skull. <laughs> Alright. This is the cut for you. I don't know if you can see it too clear. Not very thick, not very long. It's kind of yeah. like it, it's like a light long cut. All right, now I have OCD with certain things, and this is one of them. Better line for fucking tins. I gotta line it up. Line up, you goddamn. We were hanging out with a girl today, and she he handed me a tin. No, she took my tin, opened it, put it back. It was off just a little bit, and I did it just to piss her off. I go, you didn't line it up, so I line it up. She goes, oh, you're one of those. I say, yeah, I am. I have to line up my tin. I really don't know what it is. I really have to. Anyway, so for flavor. Um, now not too long ago, I bought myself a can of uh, uh, Cope Long Cup. Cope LC. The straight that I have. I couldn't stand it. It was overpowering. I do like straight dips, but that one, I, I don't know why. I didn't like it. Oh, this one. Um, to kind of compare it, you'd be better at this than me. I can almost taste like uh, Durango. Durango's chew. Yeah, well, it's but Durango's sweet. a sweet chew. This isn't. It's not really sweet. This at isn't all. sweet. This is just straight. You know, I like straights. I do personally. I will dip. I won't be my everyday, but I will buy them before I buy a wintergreen. But I bought a wintergreen last night just because I haven't tried it. But always try try something at least once. 
I mean, there's some flavor here. Uh, not a whole lot, but it tastes pretty good. Um, this tin, I'm getting a little bit. I didn't do this. I didn't have this the last time I had it, but it seems a little weak. Yeah, like o almost kind of like weak. Yeah, there's really not much there. Maybe it's because an old tin. I don't know. It's it's not really that old though. It's relatively fresh. Yeah. For for where we're from in Connecticut, that's relatively fresh. It's being from Ameri American Stuff <sighs> Company. Well, let's see these two here. I can't read that one. This one's last month. Yeah. So that was fresher. Um, here's the thing that I have a grizzly. Besides wintergreen. They kind of tend to start off a little dry, the straight and the uh, <clears throat> mint. They kind of start off a little dry. The Kodiak I have is a little dry. I mean, last night I threw one of my first lip of all time. I was pretty disappointed because I spit three times and none of it was juice. It took like ten minutes before I started to juice up. Oh, by the way, this one, the juice immediately. And by the way, no, it was. It was. It was juicy. This um, one, it, 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 it was a little bit dry at first, but. Moisten right up. I got plenty of juice coming out of this right now. I'm not even freaking trying. It's not a waterfall. It is not a waterfall like Stoker's. But it is relatively good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, it's decent spit. So you don't get a hell of a lot, but you don't it's not dry by any means. So decent spit. Kinda light, not really dark. Um, that's because mine hasn't really juiced up too much oh, yet. Mine has. So let's see. From what I remember, this it was relatively dark. Yeah. Yeah, rel relatively yeah, dark. Not bad. Relatively Definitely dark. Definitely plenty of juice, but like I said, I'm kind of feeling it right now. That, like I said, the long cut, really not much of a cut. It's kind of a like small long cut. A um, fine long cut. So it's like a mid cut. It's actually kind of already falling apart it's in your mouth. It's a typical grizzly. It's, it's, it's a mid cut. So it's falling apart in your mouth too. Yeah. But it isn't mine. I'm getting some floaters, but it's not falling apart and floating the fuck everywhere. No, like mine is. my Kodiak does, but um, this is just floating fucking everywhere. Um, this isn't. I got some floaters here and there, which is normal unless you're dipping Stokers. If you get floaters from Stokers, you're a fucking moron. Yeah. So you fucking chew dip. You, you can just take a pinch and come out with a fucking tree branch and just shove it right in there, you know. Well. Overall, for a rating on this, I'm thinking around a 5 or a 6 out of 10. Uh, it's not very good. It's not bad. It's not like a fucking kayak or a Klondike or something like that. <laughs> Klondike. We're doing a review on Klondike. <laughs> but it's if, really if not that good. Out pretty good. It's really not that good. I don't, okay. I don't think I'll buy this again. Okay. Actually, I'll trade you. Straight from my Kodiak. Hmm. Hmm. No? Okay. Now... I'm gonna go a little while for my review, for my uh, rating, because I've had this before, he hasn't. Last ability isn't bad. It's a typical straight. I can have this slip in for probably 20 minutes, half hour, because I tend to juice it a little bit. 20 I minutes, half lot. hour. I juice mine a lot. Yeah, he'll be <laughs> done by the time we're done with this video. Oh, hell yeah. Um, an aftertaste, when it's in, the taste is, um, after it juices up, it's really good. I like it. Um, I know some people tell me it's like a dirty, it tastes like dirt. I'm not really getting a huge dirt thing out of this. More than a straight tobacco thing. Obviously, it's not straight tobacco, it's just a flavor, but, um, to compare it, I'd say probably to Cope, but I like it better than Cope. Um, I haven't had too many It's a lot strains. more mellow than Cope. It's more, yeah, it is more mellow than Copenhagen Straight. Copenhagen Straight is out there, kind of punching in the face a little bit with the scent and with the taste. Um, Stoker's is more salty. I don't know if you... you no, haven't I haven't had, had Stoker's Straight yet. Yeah, it's a little more salty. Um, texture. Um, it's not too abrasive, but it's not soft. No, mine's really It's kind of just... It's not Grizz, just fine, there. It's not fine with all Grizzlies. All three I have here. I have Grizz Green, Grizz Street, and Grizz Mint on my golf table right now. They're all soft. Every single one. None of them really fuck up your gums. There's no real well, burn to them. Grizz Green 
has a tendency to be a little rough because it's a wintergreen. Wintergreens are tendency just have a tendency to be a little rough. It'll fuck up your gums if you do it enough. Um, this I wouldn't say is as rough as Stoker's, but it's not. It's a little more abrasive than Grizz Green, from what I found. It's a little more abrasive. Um, so, aftertaste. And I was getting to that before, but aftertaste. Kind of tastes like ass. You take it out and you just got that shitty taste in there. Like, a, with a lot of dips, it's like they don't taste how they smell. If they smell like shit. They're gonna taste okay, or even worse. This stuff, to me, it tastes how it smells. It's not a bad smell, but I can get that. It kind of just lingers in there. Just get something to drink. Aftertaste don't really bother me because my sense of smell sucks, so my sense of taste kind of sucks. So my overall rating of Grizzly Straight I'm gonna give this for a straight dip because I like them. 7 out of 10. 8 out of 10. They stand together pretty well. Packs very well. Um, pinch is it, The pinch ability is fucking great. I love the pinch ability on this. So, I would say, yeah, 7 or 8 out, eight out of 10. Definitely. <laughs> I think you're being a little generous there. Uh, probably, but I like it. I'm still around a 6 out of 10. It, that's my first straight dip I ever had. Um, and honestly, I like it. All of my first dips, I liked except for wintergreen. My first wintergreen was Skull. That was my mistake. Should have started on Copenhagen, probably. Well, overall, it's a pretty good dip. Um, I, I, said, I said earlier I probably wouldn't buy again. Maybe I will. Uh, I like to change it up a lot, but my staple is Grizz Green. I do dip Grizz Green every fucking day. This is his first impression. This is not mine, so. Yeah. Um, I would say, I I would buy it again, on occasion. I'd buy it again. Um. Well, I would never one day. This is Swamp Yankee dipping. If we're doing good, tell us. If we're not, tell us that too. Again, we're from uh, Connecticut up here. We don't got much of a selection for dip. Um, really not that much available, to be honest. Like, we don't have Cope Mint. We don't have any other good stuff. No, we don't have Cope Mint. That what? sucks ass. We are Swamp Yankee Dippin'. This is our first video. We're going to have some more to follow in the, coming, in the coming weeks. Posting them. Let us know. Yeah, you know, we always take feedback. If it's positive or negative. Negative helps us out. If you're an asshole about it, then we're, we don't give a fuck. Because you're just a dick. Yeah. So... But tell us what dips you yeah. want us to review, too. And uh, we can't do it unless you tell us. I mean, fuck it. Oh, it's so much we can fucking do. Basically, for the dip reviews coming up, um, if we don't get any suggestions, and if we can't buy it around here, um, basically it's going to be mainly Grizzly Skull, Copenhagen, Kodiak, or um, Stokers. Stokers is my number one. It's my... Would be my everyday dip. I don't really have an everyday dip anymore, but it was for a long time. So, Stokers would definitely be it. And this is what I'm talking about right here. Yingling Oktoberfest. Perfect time of the year to have a nice cold brew. And to this, cheers to y'all. When you finish yours, you can have yourself a beer. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks y'all for watching. Let us know. We'll have some more reviews coming up. See you later.